name is Chris and I am playing City Skylines. And I want to do something slightly different today. I am going to be looking at a little bit of an experiment. I want to be able to add a load of monorail stations in kind of isolated spots so that I can go off and test a little bit of a theory. Will Sims walk from, not walk, use the metro from here all the way up to a railway station? So I'm just going to whack in a little bit of a junction so I can create this experiment as I will and I want to see if that is exactly what they will do. So the first thing I need to do is just add a junction so I can get a bit of traffic moving in and out. So let me do that now. So try to um, basically allow me to run this experiment I need to be able to build I've got a huge demand at the moment for uh, housing so I'm going to add a train station in public transport so that I've got some reason why they will want to travel from one area to another so I just need to add a couple of roundabouts in and then I can build up some of the little bits and bobs that I need to deal with let me just do that now for me. density because I want to put as many people as I can into this one area. So I've got me roundabout in here. I'm now going to add a, another long road all the way down. Now I'm going to use a highway for this because I don't want to have any kind of walking paths around. So this is just a two lane one way road which I'm going to stick on here which is not going to be any good whatsoever if you are needed uh, for huge amounts of traffic. So I'm going to stick that down here. I've just suddenly thought of a thing I haven't done, which is level the entire area off. Could be a bit of a problem, I'm just going to sort that out now. behind this is I'm going to just put a little area off here and work my way up in little squares right up to the top here and I'm going to have a little train station in that area and the idea behind it as the sims are in each in each kind of individual area they will need to use the transport to get up. <laughs> So I've put my train station in, I'm just going to do a quick little tweak which I've noticed uh, that I couldn't do because I did do a little bit of a test on this. Uh, I cannot create a route and I think it's all down to this little junction there. So let me just recreate that one junction. Now I've got no way that's going to work and now I should be able to add one there. I want to make it a DMU. So that's all it's going to use. It's going to go shuffle back and forth, take people from this area to the next. Now, I didn't do this in my test, but I might make each of these a little zone in its own right. the monorail it is going to be simply you've got some people in here I'm going to get them to move from this one to that one and then they can transfer over from here to here and then from here to here 
here to here. Sorry, names are in the wrong spot from here to here and then here to here. So effectively, the only link between the areas is the monorail station. And I want to see what happens. Will the Sims move from one place to another? Just got to add all of the relevant links in there. So I've added all of the monorail stations in. No, I haven't. Naughty, naughty. Let's just do that last one. So I've got more in. So the theory is I'm going to mark up all of these areas for housing, high density housing as it is, and I'm hoping they will all trot their way merrily up from one place to another and away you go. Now, I'm assuming they're going to have to walk around here. I could put a pathway up. I may do that at a later point. I'm just interested to see if the Sims will walk that distance, get onto the monorail, go to the next one, and away you go, and then get onto this and go to the main terminal. This should be quite interesting. I don't know what's going on with that roundabout. Let's do a little bit of zoning up. Now, do want just to add a little bit of kind of uh, commercial near the noisy stations because they are I think relatively noisy and up here I'm gonna put in some offices probably shouldn't do them just there Perfect. And now, let's put the high density stuff in. Oh, I can use the fill option. Thank you. Make it much quicker. I'm sure people are going to moan about living next to that. I shall clear up some of those in a second, I think. don't think people are going to live, want to live right next to the train tracks. I shall get rid of some of that. So the other thing I want to do just to encourage things around, I'm going to add a little bit of a doctor's surgery. I'm going to stick that in the middle somewhere. And I'm going to add some education. So the community school is good to allow our children to go from, so you can take elementary. So let's whack a few of those in. Like so. And that should be Good. I'll tell you what I might just do for shits and giggles is add some park stuff in just for a little bit of variety so that might make things a little bit more interesting just to get people to come now the other thing that I did toy with which I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in Again, just a small road, but I am going to ban. So in theory, this road here has no pavements on it, so nobody should be able to walk from there to anywhere else. So I am going to put in some roads like this, and I'm going to ensure that the only things that can go down this road, I'm going to ban everything apart from emergency and cleaning. So I might put some trucks in there because we've got good vehicles needing to go in and out. I'm kind of hoping this means that people won't go down the roads. So let's add a few more of those in. I've just broken my own rules there, haven't I? I want to make sure that nobody can walk down the roads. Okay, so the water supply is in, the routes are in, the traffic is set to be banned. So I'm kind of hoping that should be good to go. So, we can start building and see what happens. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So now I had a bit of a problem. I didn't link up one of my waters correctly. As you can see, I've got a massive issue with water supply. I have now made changes to that so that they are now all linked, or at least they should now be all linked, which should be fine, and I've got enough water. I have now got a demand for a commercial area, and I am tweaking some of it at the moment. I'm getting rid of this area and I'm just going to raise it because I want oops I want everything to come up here so basically I'm forcing everybody up this area so there's gonna be no entertainment in your little residential area your little zoo it's gonna be a zoo show and we want to ensure that everybody now will be using all going to be using residential high demand buildings like so which should be perfect i'm hoping that the traffic is not coming through these areas that would be most annoying um if i can probably fill up those areas just there a bit more residential no, that's the resident that's the commercial 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 we've got the bar commercial i've got way too much housing going on but this is an experiment, people. We want to see if people will go in and down. Now I'm going to lose a load of people. I just want to quickly check to see if cars are going in and out of the area. Commercial vehicles should really go in and out, and everything else should be not going in and out. I'm kind of hoping. This will all work nicely, although some of the houses will disappear due to the changes. And there's lots of pingy, pingy, pingy going on. So something is happening. Upgrades are occurring, which is rather good. So let's go through and see what happens again. <laughs> Thank you. 
this for a little while now. Well, you know, a little while. And it's interesting to see that the furthest stations here, although they have access by the road, you can see that the number of passengers, now I am using a real time mod, so these are going to change a little bit. 74 passengers in the last 10 minutes and 81. And as we go up the chain, uh, well, I was going to say it gets it more and more. 59, 56. Not as much. Let's see what's going on. 125. 114. 135. 139. What have we got here? 143. So the closer we get towards the train station, the more we are getting. 146. We are 224. And 210. Let's just have a quick look at this one. You can see the people streaming out. So they're going to go off and collect. We just wait for that train to come in. I can hit the buttons on it. I've got the, I'm not sure what it's called, the advanced something or other information on that train. So we can see here how many people are boarding. I've got 45 passengers on there. We're a capacity of 190. So we just dropped off 22. We added 45. Let's see what goes to the next one. Drop to 45 and 33, not as many. But you can see the flow of people is still moving at quarter past 10 at night, which is rather interesting. So I'm kind of hoping that this is a weekend, and I think real time mode is set to have like, you know, normal working week, Monday to Friday, that's normal nowadays, I'm not sure it is, but that is what it is set as. So on Monday morning, it should be significantly more. So we just wait for that one to load in. 57 and 24, I'm gonna leave that one going. We're gonna move up. So we've got a bit of a rubbish issue here. That's because I've got no link on this road. I'm gonna sort that in a second. 137, and we've got 35 waiting here. So let me just sort out the rubbish issue. So I think you can see that the Monorails, the experiment does actually work. You can see I've got like over 300 people at the moment sitting on that platform waiting for a train to come and pick it up. And you can see the huge, huge amount of people that we've got off that particular one. So it is doing remarkably well. So the platform here is. Yes, the monorail can be used quite extensively. 
quite a lot, which is fantastic. I'm not sure if I'm making any real money on it. It seems to get less and less as you move your way through the city, but that's pretty good. So I hope you've enjoyed this really odd video. I've been trying to look at the monorail. I wanted to see if I could sort of hopscotch my way up, make the Sims go from one area up to the other. They are linked by a road which only allows SOS and recycling to come in and out of those particular areas. So they should be pretty low on uh, residential traffic. And it seems to work. You do see the actual sims moving from one area to the other, going from one lot of platforms to the next, and eventually ending up at the train station at the far end. From there, they can then move to the train terminal, and if required, using the intercity services. So I'm quite pleased with that. That is just an experimental one. I should probably leave it there because there was an absolutely ginormous requirement for additional residential housing and though it may be not the nicest it certainly does get me all the sims in that I am needing so don't forget if you do enjoy my videos and of course you do then hit that subscribe button if you want to be told of future videos that I release hit the notification bell and if you've enjoyed it then also hit the like button that would be fantastic and gives me a little boost and i hope you are keeping yourself safe and well i'm signing out for now so goodbye and i shall see you again soon